3. How are the leaves of higher plants adapted to their functions broad and flattened lamina, to increase surface area, for absorption of light? Thin blade, to reduce distance for diffusion of gases and penetration of light waves. Transparent epidermis and cuticle, to allow light to penetrate to tissues. Cuticle layer absent on stomata, to allow for gaseous exchange. One cell thick epidermal layer, to reduce the distance over which sunlight penetrates. 4. Palisade cells have numerous chloroplasts containing chlorophyll, to trap maximum amounts of light energy. Have stomata on the epidermis, to allow for gaseous exchange, and control of water loss through transpiration. Palisade layer have elongated cells located at right angles to the leaf surface, for maximum absorption of light energy. Spongy mesophyll consists of spherical and loosely packed cells, to create air spaces, which communicate with the atmosphere through stomata, for purposes of gaseous exchange and control of water loss. Veins have conducting tissues, xylem, for movement of water and dissolved mineral salts. Phloem, for translocation of manufactured food. 4. Explain how the various teeth adapt mammals for nutrition incisor, sharp, chisel shaped, for biting, and cutting food, one root for support in the jawbone. Canines, long, sharp, pointed, for holding prey piercing, and tearing flesh from prey, single root, for support in the jawbone. Premolars, large wide, to increase surface area for grinding food, highly cusped, to increase surface area for grinding food, two roots, for firm support anchorage in the jawbone. Molars, large wide, to increase surface area for grinding food, highly cusped, to increase surface area for grinding food. 5. 5. Describe what happens to a meal of oily beans and maize from the time of ingestion up to the time of absorption. In the mouth. Starch in maize, is digested by salivary amylase slash tylen slash diastase into maltose, food is chewed and mixed by teeth and the tongue rolled into boluses by peristalsis, it enters into the stomach via the cardiac sphincter. In the stomach, gastric juice containing pepsin again that is activated to pepsin, digests proteins in the beans. Into shorter peptides, food is churned and allowed into the duodenum, via the pyloric sphincter muscle. In the duodenum, Bile juice secreted by the gallbladder, emulsifies the oils in the beans into tiny oil droplets. Pancreatic juice, secreted by the pancreas, contains pancreatic amylase, that digests starch to maltose, pancreatic lipase, that digests the oil in the beans to fatty acids and glycerol, trypsin. Digests proteins into shorter peptides, Food enters into the ileum, where succus entericus is secreted, it contains maltase enzyme, that digests the maltose into glucose, that is absorbed. Peptidase, digests peptides into amino acids, lipase digests the remaining lipids, oil, into fatty acids and glycerol, which is absorbed through the lacteals of the villi. 6. How are the small intestines in mammals adapted to their functions?